What's up, my foodie freaks? Are you ready for some good food with good friends for good times? Kick it! Well, head to the dinner table and have a seat because it's time for the Culinary Trend Show with me, Chef Bev Lazo, and my crazy brigade. Only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. Yeah! Woo! Happy Thursday! It's going to be a fun show, and we see... Look at, look at our guest today. We have Suki's in the house. Woo! Tom, Aww. with his beautiful outfit. Oink, oink. And, uh, I smell bacon. <laughs> and the truck ambassador. Welcome, guys, to the Culinary Trend Show. Uh, you're back for more craziness. Welcome back. Tom, this is your first time here. So get ready. Thank you. I look forward to it. I know you are. I'm You're closer, closer to, to my guys. You're, he's cool, man. He's all laid back. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to make this stuff happen. I can't kiss on here, can I? Uh, what? No. 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 Okay. I'll, I, I've tried that. You and I'll restrain myself. You yeah. can't flip in cuss on this we gosh can't go, show. We can't go back to the hood, like, yeah. you know, where we're from. We you know I only got two uh, hoops. I can at least uh, yeah. flip them in one off. <laughs> you do. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> so we have Tom here and Mr. Truck Ambassador. Welcome back. Thank you. We should have that. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. It sounds like the Imperial Butter. You remember that? Being the se yes. second time here, we yeah. should have that. Well, thank you. Happy, happy Thursday. And we are celebrating what, Suki? The return of the Twinkies! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Look at that. Don't pass out on us. Thank Diabetes. You. <laughs> and you know what? It was the hardest thing to find. And thank you to Tom yes. yep. for Praise finding Tom. this. Let's we, crack this open. Let's crack it open. We're going to oh. start passing oh. around. Let's crack a malacca oh. So with we the are drinky. celebrating the Twinkies' return. Oh God, and me. also, not only are we celebrating... <laughs> <the> <laughs> I just wanted to watch him try to open that. <laughs> I know. Him oh, you That's all I wanted to see. Hey, he's got it down, <laughs> man. He's got it down. Oh, my God. Give me. Give me. Yes. Suki's had it. She's are they you know smaller what, than you know what, what I really want to, to see? Like, I'm I'm happy to see the Twinkies come back, but I really yeah. want right, to see them come back in the original version, which was like the banana cream and the banana flavored sponge. You know, cake. maybe they'll get to that because you know it's a step by step. step no, everybody step gets one step. step. I really want to see Ho Hos come back. Or is that's, it smaller? They're working on it. They're working on it. Gloria wants to know: Is it smaller? I'm gonna do one. It is. It is actually. And they changed the recipe. Now they last 26 days versus a lifetime. So they freeze them, right? What I heard. So, is it for health reasons? No, so they can Quite actually. Quite possibly. <laughs> shelf what I'm thinking is it was supply it. and demand. You know, they took them away, and then you know they made it so that we would get all crazy if that our Twinkie fix. Is, and is it the same? Does it taste the same? Does it taste the same? Yes, artificial. Artificial. Yes. artificial. Is it the yeah. lard with a yeah. yummy artificial cream filling? Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. I heard dunk. they're legit and house made, Gloria. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to dunk mine in my moonshine. Thank you, Tom. You just we got it. I want you to try with the moonshine and then the beer and let me know. Well, dunk, dunk. <laughs> which one's better? <laughs> well, since we're well, celebrating well, yeah. with the uh, Twinkies. Well, well since, since, since we're all partaking in the, lips. in the Twinkies. What have you been eating, Lawrence? <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> White stuff on your lips. Oh. I was having a little. Oh. I was out earlier. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! So what, 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 what had happened was. Oh, what were you gonna tell me? Oh no! Since since we're all partaking in the Twinkies, what what do we have? What what pairs with the Twinkies yes. today? Yes. Which, yes. <laughs> I didn't buy this. I mean, I didn't get it just for the Twinkies. But <laughs> now it does. Yeah, do. <laughs> I got midnight moon moonshine. Nice. Midnight moon. Blackberry right. moonshine. All right. So anyone that wants a taste, well, can we hold that up? Come on down. Let's Pass let's it down. No, she's like guarding it. Like, it's mine. This is mine. I'm no. scared. Oh, you're closer to the camera, aren't you? Yeah. Sure. yeah. Where does one get midnight moon moonshine? Costco. Mm. Costco. Kate, Costco. Costco is getting into the moonshine business. Costco has everything. Costco. I know. Yeah. Costco they have their own like moonshine factory in the back now. Say and what's wonderful about this moonshine, which I've noticed, is I also there's another moonshine that Costco doesn't sell. They have the fruit inside the wow, jar. Wow, nice. so it's healthy. So I yeah. can actually eat the fruit at the <laughs> end, right? Eat the fruit at the <laughs> end. It's like a <laughs> shot at the end. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> what else did you bring us today? And Hangar 24 Ooh. California Spring Beer. It's seasonal. We're going to pass that around. And what's in it? I don't know. I just beer? like it better than their, I like it better than their orange <laughs> wheat. Okay. Hops. And Have you and tried their orange Tom? wheat yeah, beer? Yeah, no, Hangar 24 is actually my favorite. Uh, I love beer Hangar right 24. Now. We got to we got to um, hook up Tom for I love their stuff. Yes. Yes, we do. No, Brad? I'm good. You're good. All right. Well, I did try that moon moonshine earlier. It's nice. And um, yes. hey, Matt! How's it going? 
Ooh, oh, is he, is, is, is he going to be ta- taking the pizza That's challenge? That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Matt's going to be under the table. He's like, that's going to be Chef, Matt, we'll get you a seat when we're... Uh, yeah, see, this, this is what the moonshine did it to does, me. It does, yes. Did you, you, if you open it, it's like... It's it's heaven. It's heaven. For you. It's heaven. <laughs> it's like opening a candy it's store. Heaven. It's like uh, you could have put like it on a rag, and I would have been passed out. You would have been passed out. Oh, yeah. That thing is hardcore. Well, it does say I'm I gonna took read one this. Shot and I thought I was gonna pass out. I'm gonna read this. Yeah. Bottled at 50 percent alcohol value, and then bottled at 100 proof. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. Wow. No wonder. That's yes. that's a party wow. right there. And that's what I called smooth. <laughs> So that's more. That is a party in a bottle. It's that a party in a, a party bottle. In well, not only are we celebrating that and the beer. Thank you for the beer as always. And what's it called? We'll show the camera. Hangar 24 California Spring Beer. It's seasonal. So if you find it in stores, buy like five or six. Okay. Five, five. Show what? the camera. Seven, oh, oh, show the camera. I'm He's busy on his ESPN again. Nine, ten. <laughs> I recommend it. Who's being traded this time? <laughs> I know. Oh, um, I'm keeping up on free agents. So we're celebrating. NBA, so. Um, also, it's National Caviar Day. Fans, caviar. I'm a big caviar Are fan. You? Caviar. Matt, we should have you up here, man. <laughs> well, well, he'll he'll be taking he'll be, Tom's he'll be place. Taking Tom's place. When um, so any favorite t- t- type of, you know, there's three three or four types, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, according to this this that you handed me here, the caviar, according to the FDA, uh is a product made from salt-cured fish eggs of the... I can't even pronounce that word. Just pretend. Acip- no, no, no. <laughs> Acipensary... I should have read this before we went on there. That's okay. Sweet. <laughs> the, roe can be, the roe can be fresh, non-pasteurized, or pasteurized. But, I mean, really. Who wants pasteurized exactly, eggs? Yeah? Exactly, exactly. Uh, with pasteurization reducing its culinary and economic value. So, there you go. Oh. Traditionally, the term caviar refers only to the roe of the wild surgeon in the Caspian and Black Seas. Beluga, etc., or serv... Sevruga caviar. Savruga. Sevruga. Any favorites? Do you guys? I, it's very expensive. So, yes. you know, when do you guys usually get them? Like special occasions, special of occasions. course. Special occasions. Foodie special occasions. occasions. Have you gone to an event where they have served that? Any? I, I mean, have you guys blog no, a lot. I haven't. They haven't served you guys yet. Any caviar. These these big events no. you guys go you know to. What? Not even at the fancier restaurants. Yeah. We you know yeah. what the, the stage is set now. If I go to another tasting event, a fancy one, and they don't serve me caviar, I'm sticking them on you. Yeah, you know what? You're send protesting. them to me. <laughs> send them to me, and I'll take care of them. You know how we roll, Carson right? Style, Carson right? style. Carson that's style. That's right. Style. That's right. Right. I know my Carson caviar. <laughs> caviar. 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 Carson caviar. <laughs> Evan of a Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about since we don't have caviar. Mm-hmm. So I brought something kind of close to it. I don't think uh, so. How do we pronounce yeah. this, Tom? Can you? Uh, it's, sure. This is, uh, I actually took German for four years. Oh, see, oh. it helped. Perfect. Right. This is called a uh, Frühstückwurst. Frühstückwurst. And what does that translate to? Yes. Um, first is like sausage-y. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fru <laughs> is like a fruity usually. And Stück means. There it is. You no, know, it. Fruity sausage. Yeah. Fruity sausage puree. So this has. It's from Oakland. What? what? <laughs> Say what? Holy. <laughs> 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 It's got the Oakland colors on there too. <laughs> Holy crap! That that must, must and from be, Bioland. That can't be a coincidence. Oh, that cannot be a coincidence. So we're gonna open that East up. East Bay represent. Where did you guys get this from? No, my cousin's a chef. Chef John Mulvaney. Thank you, sir, for bringing it all the way from Germany. He went to Germany. Oh, oh, oh. I told him to smuggle something back. He said, "Well, only thing I could do is bring something that's you know encased." You know, package. You know, because of TSA or he didn't you know. want anything That's strapped terrible. against his body. No. no. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is open that up, and we're gonna taste it. We're gonna pass it around. Yeah. I brought some Filipino crackers because German Filipinos go together, uh, yeah. right? You we crackers. are too many people. Open it up. Mm. Let's let's. Suki, okay. Suki gets to have that first Suki. whiff. Okay. First whiff of the the if I could Oakland even, meat. Like, open it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it looks very. How old is it? Juicy. Yeah, it looks very. What's yeah. the I'll stick date? to my beer. <laughs> it's in German. Hey, read it, Tom. When's the expiration date? Does it say keep refrigerated? Okay, I'm weak. I can't even open it. <laughs> well, we'll pass. Come on, man. Okay, okay. Man, you got it, gentlemen. Okay. I so got hoops. Th- I'm yeah. the weak lady that's gonna pass this on to the gentleman. That didn't, she didn't quite take so, off. So, um, uh, Tom, tell us about oh, your blog. Yeah, you, you have your beautiful. Out- tell us about your outfit. Yo, know, I'm right now. I'm wearing costume castle. Okay. Yep. How and did that come about? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. 
Um, I'm glad I asked too. A couple years ago, I was the H1N1 flu for Halloween, of course. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So I was a pig outfit plus the H1N1 sash. Okay. So, you know, when I started my food blog, I had to find a way to stand out. So at the OC Foodie Fest, which was the worst organized food truck event ever, uh, I put this on. Yeah. First it was, or second? Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> the first, the first one, right? I'm, first I'm, the first or one. second? First, yeah. first, well, okay. first and second, but the second one got better. But anyways, it was like 110 degrees and had this thing on. I saw you with photos. Sweating. I was sweating. And the thing is, I actually got cool at the end because I was retaining all the sweat. And everybody you were a else sweaty was pig. It was rocking. <laughs> at the bottom. At the bottom. Or crack it with a knife. No, but my food blog started off about three years ago, mm-hmm. and I started covering food trucks. Um, I was noticing that the food trucks were actually making things happen that the restaurants weren't doing. And then, you know, natural, natural evolution, I started going to restaurants, nice restaurants, products, gastronomic travel. So that's Tom's foodie blog today. I'm glad. I mean, you know, like I said, every time I bring this up, we've all met through, you know, social media. And that's a great way. Did you open and smell it? That's what she oh, said. Oh, sh- snap. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is just. Yeah. Does it smell like pate? I it's will put warm. a restraining order on that. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> just touch keep it, it away from me. Where's the camera at? It's right it's there. It's right there I want behind the camera you. To, yeah, that's like... I want the camera to see this. It's congealed. You want our three listeners to throw up? Oh, I can't find the camera. It's right that there. That camera's right, 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 right there. It's right there, right in front of uh, you. Right front I don't want to tip this over, but okay. what I'm going to describe it looks yeah, like... Yeah, please do. looks like cat food with congealed fat on top. Nice. And the consistency is like... A testicle, I'll be honest. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we like our congealed go. testicles. Congealed testicle <laughs> test with some Filipino crackers. Yes. So we're going to try that. Since so we're foodies <laughs> and as chefs, right, <laughs> Chef Matt? You need something sure. to stir with. Yeah. You need to like Chef Matt, knife. we have to try everything. Sure. Definitely. And I know Matt will. Matt, you should have brought some pasta. I'm going to start crying. Like made I'm sorry. Right. I'm going to start crying, too. Buddy. I'm like, please don't make me do that. All right. That. So, when we get, so we're going to talk more about your blog later and where we can find you, but... After break, we're going to sit you over there, and you said you were going to do the pizza challenge. That's right. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, 32 slices, pepperoni, and jalapeno. Bring it. Bring it. I think we're ready. So when we get back to break, did you smell the meat? No. (laughs) That's what she said. I'm a good girl. Okay, Brad. (laughs) That's terribly sexy. Oh, come on. you like it. Where's the the camera? He likes it. All right, after break, we're going to pass pass the meat around. (laughs) We're going to come back from break, and Tom's going to start with the uh, pizza challenge. Eyes closed, and he's already taking the first bite. And we're going to talk to the ambassador after this. Woohoo, Triggies. Don't go away. We'll be back for more culinary trans adventures. Saddle up. This is RentRadioNetwork.com. This is Anthony Sykes, your host for Sykes Accounting and Consulting Radio Show, where we help small businesses grow and give you tax tips. Catch us every Thursday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here on RentRadioNetwork.com. Thank you. We are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rant Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69, the three guys. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen in. You never know what's going to happen. 855-69-3-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And we are excited to announce our show live with Aaron Kelly is on Rant Radio Network. What do we talk about on our show, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech. And we have a few laughs in between. <laughs> That's right. Go check us out on RantRadioNetwork.com. That's RantRadioNetwork.com. Check it out. Ticketsurgeon.com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. The Ticketsurgeon.com at 855-WIN-4199.
Looking for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today. Or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. Are you hungry for more? Then put on your stretchy pants and grab your plate. It's time to head back to the Buffet of Madness with me, Bev Lazo, and my Culinary Trends Brigade, only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. All right, we are back, and Tom started already without us. All right, camera Crap, on Tom. I just Tom. poked myself in the eye. Go, Tom. Tom, so you have... <laughs> you <laughs> He's already going for it. Yeah. Yeah. Does he have to eat the crust, too? Yes. Like, yeah, everything. Yeah, every, every last bit. 30 minutes. Thirty yeah. minutes. So right now it is <laughs> He's what time? He's sipping on the moonshine. It is, it is eight sixteen. <laughs> eight sixteen. So about eight forty-five ish. He should be done, right, Tom? If, I say. I say <laughs> between. <laughs> after <laughs> after uh, the moonshine, hopefully he'll be done by then, right? I'll be on the floor. Yeah, he'll be on the floor. So again, Tom is enjoying a thirty-two slice of pepperoni and jalapeno, jalapeno. <laughs> jalapeno. <laughs> and with the side of uh, moonshine. midnight moonshine. Wow. <laughs> so we have a call on line one. Oh my gosh. Pick up the phone. Mm-hmm. No, no We're so call. excited. Our caller left. Our caller left. Okay, never no. mind. I'm lying. Darn it. All right, we're back. It's time to talk about what coming, what upcoming events. What? Okay. No, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> the moonshine got going. to me. Just keep going. All keep right. going. Mm-hmm. Gloria's throwing me off tonight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's Twinkies it's and... A, it's a moonshine. It is the moonshine. It's 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 the moonshine. All right. All right, so let's talk about what events are coming up. All right, Brad. Love right. the food truck Brad, ambassador. Food truck ambassador. Tell us what's going on for all the food trucks coming up, all the events. Well, we got the uh, South Bay Food Truck Festival over at the StubHub Center in Carson. August 10th, Carson. Right. Mm-hmm. We'll be there. And we're going to be there uh, doing the show live. We're I will be there. We're going to show there. Yeah, and they're going to feed us for free, right? We're, we're going to okay, take care just, of you. Yep. Okay. Can we invite people? Yes. Invite them. <laughs> Nat, Nat's going to be, <laughs> invite em. Nat's gonna be uh, our fourth, and maybe Suki, and then you can write about it. Now, now, do yes, you, is there, uh, like, part of the lineup has already been released, or are you still keep? Yeah, it's on, it's on our website. If you went to supergourmetfoodtruckjam.weebly, that's W-E-E-B-L-Y, dot uh, com okay any, and, and the list is on there any one that you can name top of your uh, head grilled cheese truck's gonna be there awesome uh, oh. cousins lobster's gonna be there raging Lomo cajun Arigata? is gonna be there Who? lomo Who? Arigata? no lomo lomo, no. lomo no. 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 no no he doesn't really do the, the i festival know oh, okay. it was just oh. false hope that was oh. yeah that was a good try <laughs> but no we got uh <laughs> we've got mustache mics and uh Ooh, oh yay. perfect um Bring your moonshine for that. We got Miso Hungry is going to be there. I'm sure they're selling beer there. Yeah. We'll have beer garden. <laughs> They've got a kids zone for kids. Oh, so I know where to put the kids, and yep. we know where Gloria will be. Yes. With I'll be with you. Okay, good. We'll put the kids. Oh, so there. that means I'll just be doing the show <laughs> yeah. by myself. Awesome. We'll call you. <laughs> we'll be the callers <laughs> awesome. calling on air. Who Great. else is going to be there? Um, we've got the uh, the game trailer is coming, or oh, the nice. game truck that's going to be doing okay. Xbox. Never mind. So that means the booth's going to be just completely. It's Suki and Matt. They'll the... just run the show. Okay. There is you there go. a way sure, we could do like not? wireless Sounds mics? Fun. You know, Sounds he'll like be fun. at the games. I'll be at the beer garden, and Bev will be in the kids section. And what? What the beer garden? She's like, what? So explain to us what the whole event's about why is why is this going on well they did it two years ago and um they were going to do it last year but some things just didn't work out and so they uh, got a hold of me and asked me if i would be (laughs) the one that gets the trucks and organizes the trucks Mm because they just don't have the time to do it but you know they just called on me and i've been you know going with it and how much is do you know how much admission is if someone admission uh if you go online right now it's a ten dollars a person okay and at the gate it's 12 I'm not sure about the kids. I think some kids uh, are free, depending on the age. Um, is it like Disneyland, two and under? 
Do they go by height? They're also for the do, beer garden. They're also giving away sweepstakes like a four pack. Um, they have that on their website at the StubHub uh, Center website. They have that oh, on there. Cool. Um, they're also going to be giving away gift cards. I know the game the game truck is doing a GameStop tournament. So if you win different, you know, uh, tournament events there while you're there, they give out the the um, gift cards. So you can is go to it GameStop. the Just Dance? Oh, how cool! Uh-huh. Just Dance contest. Oh no, they're gonna oh, they're gonna be doing everything. Are, are are any of the trucks selling tickets as well, or is it nope. is it just directly through? It's just directly through the website for okay. StubHub. But you can go on our website, see the list of trucks on there, and also there's a link that you can click on the link, and it'll take you right to the StubHub website. All right. to buy your tickets. Okay. So when you get in, are you going to have to pay each truck, or are they going to have tickets there that you use? Yeah, no, truck? you have to go to each truck and get to pay. Okay. Excuse me, are you taking the jalapenos off? I am seeing those for last. Okay, I'm just checking. Sure you are. Pain, sure you are. By pain. How many slices have you had so far? About a third of the pizza. Okay. Wow. Oh, doing good, wow. doing good. All right. Not bad. Sorry Not about bad. that. No problem. We always nice. have to make sure, you know, they're, they're doing course. well back there. And he's like laid back right now, so he's fine. He's fine. So this is the second year. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Question. I know we're. I'm going to go off the uh, the subject, but why did anybody know why uh, Home Depot changed to StubHub? Is oh, it's just the contract ran out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, is okay. All. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So explain to everybody that it's going to be in Carson. It's a Saturday. I know that. Uh, right. And Do you have any idea how much parking is going to be? <laughs> the parking is free. Oh, oh good. Oh, nice. All right. Gosh, we were going to all jump in free my parking. van. Nice, nice. Free parking. Um, still jump in if, 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 yeah, if, we can. If, so <laughs> listen Carpool. up. If, if parking Carpool. isn't free, look for Brad. We'll look for Brad. <laughs> Truck ambassador. No, it, yeah, him. it's free. It's on we'll the website. We'll put up his it, picture. He looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's all on the website and everything, but... um. You know, I just want to say, too, uh, I just want to give a shout-out to all the trucks, you know, that, yeah. that work, you know, with us and stuff, you know, um, that help us out. If it wasn't for the food trucks, you know, I wouldn't be the ambassador. I wouldn't be in business. So right. all the trucks that are listening tonight, I appreciate it. And I thank you for, you know, them coming out, you know, and supporting us, you know, and stuff. And, um, you know, we're doing some – you know, just say real quick, we're doing some yeah. um, cool events across the country. Like, we're involved with the Color Run, right. I was telling you, and – and uh, we got some. Uh, we have the bubble run coming up. I don't know if you ever seen the bubble run. I've never heard of it. Oh, that sounds. Well, do you, we blow bubbles a, and run? No, you don't you have to blow them, but you can run through them. Oh, how cool! Oh, that it's, would be fun. Yeah. If, you, if you go, if but you, we won't run because we'll be busy like well, you trying can to walk. pop all of them. You can okay. Walk. Yeah. Especially if you're hungover, you want to walk. Oh yeah. So well, look at me. What is there? Someone else here? Gloria, be like, oh. <laughs> I'd probably be stuck going, Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Already at the finish line. It's like, where's Gloria? So what is, what is the bubble run? When is it? When, yes. Okay, um, the next one is going to be at uh, Qualcomm Stadium, San Diego. Oh. And it's going to be... Oh, there uh, it is right there. September 7th. Oh, nice. Oh, so it's oh, just a gi- cool. It's just a gi- gigantic foam party run type Yeah, thing. you run yeah. through foam things, party. over things and stuff, and you just have these... Nice. It's like running through the biggest... Car bubble wash? bath, yeah, car wash, bubble bath, like, kind of situation. Yeah, different colors. Nice. Oh, and so, know. yeah, there you go. When there, is that one? That's oh, September seventh at Qualcomm Stadium, birthday. San Diego. Let's do my birthday at the bubble run. <laughs> oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> so don't it's take a, a shower it's a five, that day. Yeah. You can like practically take a shower in the bubble run. But now it's a five. It's a five k. So you don't have necessarily have to run it. You know, yeah, it's yeah. not timed. It's just the goal. It's and a fun. So it's it's a it's a five k fun run. It's a fun run. Okay. Okay. Oh look at that. There you go. Oh, that looks oh awesome. Feeling in the pink. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's for... <laughs> well, no, that, no, no, yeah, no, no. That's, that's, that's what you're going to I know where her mind went instantly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like, no. Oh, I got that one. <laughs> I think he ran through that before he got here. <laughs> that's one. Okay. See, and there you got, you got the blue feeling one. Feeling the blue. Is it feeling the blue? Yeah. Uh, no. no, no, no. Oh. Feeling the pink. So you got different uh, colors and stuff. And that's then, pretty cool. Uh, and then... Right. Um, yeah, so we're Look at that we're guy. He's in his combat outfit. Oh, that's oh, cool. that's hardcore. Why does he have a? I know you can like do costumes, right? You like do the costumes, color whatever run. you want to do. But Tom. you know what? When you sign up, they get you a packet, and you wear. You have a T-shirt that says Bubble Run on it. Okay. okay. So everybody gets one of those to go with it with a number. You know your runner bib number. So you have all that. I'm going. If I go on your website, let's go. No, if you go, no. if you go, uh, bubblerun.com. Uh-huh. Okay. It's not on our website it's yet. Not. We're working on that. Okay. But um, if you go to bubblerun.com, you can go on there and you can 
So that event you're doing at uh, San Diego. At are, Qualcomm Stadium. Are trucks from L.A. going out there, or do you have designated trucks in San Diego? I've got Diego? trucks in San Diego. I want to know about LA, them. So. Yeah. I want to know. Name a few, because I'm not well, familiar we're, with we're, all of them. We, we actually just talked to the Bubble Run, and actually Qualcomm Stadium today, and got, uh-huh. got the okay to bring the trucks in. Okay. So and we haven't really got right a truck yet. We're working on that. Well, you'll come in and talk about it before then, yeah. so we could do that. But you know what I want to <laughs> say, too, is is um, we're also doing, um, sooner than later, is on August 24th, is the color in motion 5k that's going to be at the colcom stadium okay so color in motion what it is without the bubbles is you run it's like the color run you run and they throw the the color starch on you as you run through the different areas uh-huh. so you when you get done you're just covered up with you know with all the color stuff and everything so, so like so. what they do in india where they have the color party mm-hmm. that's holy. there it is right there yeah yeah that's holy. Yeah, that's, yeah there you yeah. go nice. so that's so nice. th- yep. that's what the so co- what's the difference between color and motion there's nothing the color run is the original uh, okay. one that started two years ago and these people that are doing these are kind of like running you know with their own thing doing the oh, same thing basically okay. with it's a not diff- the same company with a different name right okay but that's what the color uh color motion is you throw it up in the air like that it, they have it where you get to the finish line they have a big old party and then on a count of 10 you throw it all up in the that air and it goes all too. over you but as you're running through the 5k they have four or five different color bomb areas where they'll throw it on you so when you get to the finish line, you're just caked with this. Has stuff. anybody been like hit in the eyes, and it's like so dramatic, and you know they're all on the floor? Am I gonna make it all negative? Babs, I'm just, no, I'm just asking because you know <laughs> they're waiting for you. They're waiting for me. You'll be well, the first one. I got glasses. One. Ain't there happen, you man. go. No, if you look you at a lot, be able if you to look see at it, like look, I'm look right here. On there. Look at a lot of pictures. Look at the sunglasses. Oh, see, that's see, why they were. Look at there. She's rainbow bright. You got rainbow bright over there. You see her? Everybody's like, no. Yeah. Everyone's color. <laughs> yeah, this is the worst game Wait, of Where's Waldo yeah, ever. Yeah. yeah. But that's what it's all about. It's about, <laughs> it's, just, it's about just having a good time and stuff. And then the thing is, is when the trucks come, it brings an additional experience to right. the runners that they normally don't have. Right. Because when they get done, they're like, okay, where am I going to go eat? And some places that where the runs are at, there's no place to eat. Right. Mm-hmm. No, but that's if perfect. we bring the Everybody trucks Lake. there, then they've got it. Yeah. <laughs> Any trucks <laughs> from San Diego that you know offhand? Well, you got like not, the Double I mean, truck. Not right off uh, my, the top of my Tabe head. truck. Um, Devilicious? Devilicious. Devilicious. They were, on Devilicious the, yeah. they were on the first season of the Great Food Truck Race. Right. That's right. Oh. Uh, That's right. I remember yeah. them. Tabe, mm-hmm. I think, Tabe? might still be. It's a Japanese fusion truck. Um, I think Super Q is a barbecue truck. Yeah, I've heard there. of them. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's quite a few. There's there's quite well, a few. You the know, scene we're, out we're there d- is... is decent yeah we're doing we're doing you know these races all over the country so i'm having to build relationships up with different trucks Mm -hmm. in different cities that you know they don't know who we are Mm -hmm. so i got to build that trust and relationship up and they and a lot of them never even heard of the color run or the color motion run or the bubble run they're like what so when i send pictures like this to them and stuff they're like oh yeah i want to do that you know i want to be a part of that and especially if you tell them where the venue if it's if it's a really big venue yeah then they'll definitely be on board. Awesome. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. Once they find out you have a, a good venue locked down, that's, that's, that's like half the battle right well, there. Well, when we get back, we're going to check on Tom, see how he's doing. We're going to talk more to Brad. And Chef Matt's in the house. He's got something coming hey. up. Ooh. Suki and I are going to continue eating our potted meat and our Twinkies. It's and I'll continue really eating. Good. It's really good, right? Yeah. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Woo! Don't go away, we'll be back for more culinary trans adventures. Hold on to your hat. This is rentradionetwork.com. The experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Satin Ice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. We are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rant Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen in. You never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about what you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Monster Marketing Group, your one-stop shop for all your marketing needs. 
anything you need to make that marketing and advertising campaign stand out. We're your people. Concepts, design, production, social media, anything that you can dream up, we're going to make happen for you. And we can do it in a very quick turnaround. Please give us a call at 888-49-MONSTER. Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly B. Dolan. And we are excited to announce our show live with Aaron and Kelly is on Rant Radio Network. What do we talk about on our show, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. <laughs> That's right. Go check us out on rantradionetwork.com. That's rantradionetwork.com. Check it out. Are you hungry for more? Then put on your stretchy pants and grab your plate. It's time to head back to the Buffet of Madness with me, Bev Lazo, and my Culinary Trends Brigade, only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. All right, we are back. We are back. Yeah, it's the, you know, conversation continues even during um, Oh, we're we're just going over our pizza yeah, we're talking about pizza. Let's see. Here. Let's talk about pizza. How's it going in there, Tom? Wow. I'm about, uh, oh, my God. Nice. I'm pure gangster. He's uh, gangster, all right. Sure you are. I think it's a suit. Sure I think it's you a are. suit. You know, it's, it's like my uh, Superman suit. You know, it is. It's his cape. Super, super gastronomic tr- uh, How, abilities. <laughs> How's that blending with the uh, moonshine? Is the moonshine your crypt- kryptonite right now? <laughs> well, yeah, the moonshine <laughs> is making me hallucinate a little bit. Yeah. So it's going down easy. Oh, good, good. Uh, as yeah, long as you're okay. He's totally he's hallucinating about how much pizza he's eating. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Put that away. Put that so, away. So, anyways. Anyway, right, um, right. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. We're going to talk to Brad more about more uh, upcoming events. We have <laughs> Chef Matt <laughs> Dylan here in the house. Hello. And you're going to be at the OC Fairgrounds this weekend. Yes, Come on I'm up. doing two cooking demos. Come up to the mic. I'm doing two cooking demos. One is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Nice. For a kick and catch up. Okay. You ever heard of them? I heard, I heard of them. Yeah. So what they did is they came to me and they said, hey, can you design a few recipes with our product? Ooh. And so I came up with a few different recipes, and they're going to have me highlight them and show them off at the fair. Awesome. Tomorrow at 1, and it's in the hangar. Okay. And then on Sunday at 1 in the hangar also. Okay. I do like the hangar. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I she do. does. We're well, there it's every nice and air like conditioned and comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you give us an example of what you made up for them for kicking the um, ketchup? Well, remember last time I was here, yeah. you guys were doing the Sloppy Joes on uh, Krispy Kremes yes. or what? Yes. So, what I did is I took a Sloppy Joe, but I'm doing it with short rib. Their oh. sauce. We're there. Is that tomorrow or Sunday? You just yeah. said the magic words and, and everyone's I'm just like, well, I'm going back to meat. Like, I'm doing a Serrano chili coleslaw on okay. top. Okay. Oh, Forget the vegetarian stuff. Sorry, Were I you love just you. there? On, yeah, yesterday. On, yeah, a, but the, on but a fresh pretzel bun. The food bun. wasn't. The food oh, no. wasn't so we do so. a pretzel bun, and then we do garlic butter and oh, toast pretzel the pretzel bun. bun and That's at 1 o'clock tomorrow with that. My kids are, forget the beach. Why am I working? So we're doing that. I'm doing a, uh, a prawn cocktail. I only have a lunch uh-huh. shift tomorrow. But so the I prawn can... cocktail, what uh-huh. I do is I take my um, horseradish, uh-huh. I marinate it in Jerez de Sherry, which is a sherry yes. vinegar from Spain. Nice. So you get that, just that balance, that sweetness and tartness with it, and it cuts that, that horseradish that's so strong, but you want that flavor, you know? Mm-hmm. You got us all salivating over here, by the way. Is it wrong to have a food gasm without the food here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, I know, I was looking at Gloria over so here. So we're doing like, that. You know, we're, we're like locking eyes I know, we're, yeah. we're, we're also, like, oh, we're yes. highlighting, <laughs> I'm doing a, uh, a, a prawn fra diavolo with my squid ink pasta, which oh, is Fattoria. Wow. So my. So wait, my how can prawn. I get in front of the line in the pack? <laughs> well, you just gotta say come. You know can him. I be VIP? <laughs> yeah, just come up. I'll be and VIP. Say, hey, All Chef right. Matt, I'll pull you, you are up. You're always VIP, man. I'm VIP. You're you're VIP. I'm a Chef Matt. I'm your fan. Can I just scream and? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Imperial. <laughs> oh wait, wait, what? No. <laughs> so oh, tomorrow at one o'clock, exactly at one. At one. One yes. o'clock. One o'clock. Well, I'm there. I don't know if it's going to be exactly. You know how I'm going to get your fair. number. Is it on yet? I'm going to be there. <laughs> can I sneak in? And I will, I'll, Wait a minute. Sampling portions. Are you giving out samples or just demo? Um, we're, I'm going to demo it, but I'm going to sneak some samples to people. Oh, know? yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Okay. You know, VIP over here. Yeah. So if you're cute, <laughs> be in the front Warm row. Visit. Be and the then row. Chef Matt and will sneak I'm, stuff to you. I'm doing a baby back rib, <laughs> also. Nice. What are you trying to say? I'm not cute. Which is a, oh with my a gosh. Diablo no, sauce. Nice. 
Okay. <laughs> so is there a fee just to just to pay? Is the, the no 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 no. This is right. part fair of your entry. Your entry, entry pay your fair entry. Shoot. You go in. You get to watch me or ride a ride or get conned on the games. Whatever you want. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was I was there yesterday. We'll pretend the OC fair didn't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> we love you, OC fair. Well, yeah. No, I love you too. It's, so. it's, it's the carnival, so it's implied. It's already implied. <laughs> carnies, you know. You know how those carnies. They don't like to be called carnies. They smell like potted meat. What? Do you get to declare shenanigans? Is that yes. allowed? Yeah. Okay. What's I think allowed? You can. Shenanigans. Uh, shenanigans. Yeah, yes, right. that's how it came up. That whole thing, shenanigans, declaring shenanigans, was when carnies came into town. And if you couldn't win the games or whatever, they were fixed and rigged. You right. can call shenanigans. They'd test the game, and then they'd go after them. Mm-hmm. That's shenanigans. Shenanigans. Now, I'm going to yell that out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> shenanigans! Somebody, somebody Every, shenanigans! He's gonna make one, his one short time. rib, and you're like shenanigans! <laughs> Damn it, <Carver>. mystery <laughs> word! You have to know the mystery <laughs> word. You can't call shenanigans on my food. I'm no, gonna let no. you eat it. If so. you don't give me any, I'll be like shenanigans. <laughs> I'm VIP. Shenanigans. I'm VIP. Yeah, Whatever gets me in. Yeah, yeah, but I won't say it. Card. <laughs> so one o'clock. It's gonna be the same menu uh, for Sunday. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm doing the same menu both times. Okay, so. where can people find Kickin' Ketchup? Is it only online or? Uh, they're selling it at Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. They're out of San Clemente online. The company is based out of San Clemente, and uh, Whole Foods is their biggest one. Nice. So. We should have them on the show. We should. And then Chef Matt can make those dishes or something else. Definitely, I can do that. Let's do that. Yes. Let's do that, and Sounds then you good. could pair something up. Maybe nice. like uh, I'll bring more moonshine. Yeah, moonshine. I'm like feeling moonshine it. Works good. You know, I, I have a lot of inspiration it. when I got some moonshine in me. There you know? well, go. Hey. Let's, let's Maybe he'll cook up something else. Exactly. Well, I want to uh, check up on uh, our food cam over here and see how Tom's doing. How you doing, my friend? We are. Um Nice. Wow. Look at that. Think he like wow. stacked it. I like the <laughs> optical illusion that he's there. I love it. Big. I'm starting to slow down. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little bit of pain. I see, a, I see <laughs> oh an entire God. pile of jalapenos there on the side as well. It's the last thing that goes down. I'm well, uh, sorry for your wife. That. Oh, you know, it's going to be fun when I get home. Oh, man. Danielle, we Don't love forget you. to sorry. leave rooms for some pumpkin cake. <laughs> yeah, I brought pumpkin yeah. cake. Yeah, pumpkin cake. So <laughs> August 1st, I'm, I'm doing a the biggest burrito challenge ever. Who's down for that? Burrito. Biggest burrito oh. challenge. What is that? Wow, what is that? The, the burrito's going to be the same size as that table. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Allegedly. I am in no mood. Allegedly. Huh? <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Where is so it what is the from? challenge? Who's, someone uh, has well, to eat I the have, whole thing? Wait, I have one, one guy. So but it's I one think, person going for I it? I think we should have two people going for it. To, wait, on the same Are burrito you or just... Cut it in half. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I thought you, you could start one of the So yeah. two guys, one burrito, huh? Yeah. All right. Oh. Mm, interesting. Family show. So, <laughs> <chicken wow wow. laughs> so, okay. So anything else coming up for you? Is this the only thing that's going well, on? Well, I'm going out of town. I'm cooking in Portland, Seattle, Nice. Oh, can you bring Wyoming. some new uh, donuts back And then me? I go. <laughs> I w- actually will bring you <laughs> Please. some. Please. Uh, our friend Darren um, <coughs> back over here, his brother had just went. He just showed me a picture of what they had and wasn't nice enough to share, but that's okay. You're talking I- about our buddy at NorCal. Uh, yeah. No, this Darren over here. Oh, okay. No, I mean <laughs> yeah. the donut. Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. way. Yeah, they just won. They won. The f- they? they won the race, uh, the food truck challenge or whatever it was. Their v- donut challenge that they did. Really? They just won last night. Oh yeah, there was a, a donut. There was a. Yeah. They, they've got a new thing. Instead of cupcake wars, they're doing donuts now. Okay. Oh. What channel is it's this? It's on. Co- it's on the cooking channel. Oh, okay. Cooking channel, and they just won. Uh, I have They have a TV. banner out in front today. Nice. Oh. And uh, I was really proud, man. They're the hey. ones that did the foie bomb. You saw yeah. That? Oh, you need to bring that back. We'll all pitch in. Everybody sell their cans and bottles for that. We'll pitch in for that. No, I wonder I'll, how bring, much, I'll bring some back. I'm going to see him. How much does that him, cost? So. How much do you think that would cost? I don't. A foie, I, a foie, I, foie donut? Yeah. Oh, at oh. least, at least. Like well, they're more charging than, more than a dollar in the state of California. <laughs> <More than laughs> Thank you. You can't charge for foie, so the foie is free. It's a bonus. You're mm-hmm. paying for the donut only. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. That's how you get yeah. around the law. Yeah. That, yeah. That's you how you give uh, the foie away. Ah. Uh, and charge for the food. Yeah. So you know, so that that like a lot of the restaurants are charging like twenty five dollars for a bruschetta. <laughs> exactly. With, a free foie on the side. Yeah. Oh, exactly. You get a free side. foie when yeah. you buy it. A slither of it. Yeah. That or you can always go or, to Vegas or they request, or they request yeah. a Not donation yeah. for, for the foie. It's like church uh, and they'll bring the basket around? Sort of, yeah. 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 The okay. straw basket. There you go. Yeah. Oh, Tom. He took the hat off. 
Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting serious. Oh he's God. getting serious. Oh man. Oh, well, you man. know what? I'm gonna give you props for you know. Yes. It's about eight. It's almost is, that time. Uh, is he tapping out? Five, five more minutes. minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> I love yeah. the music. It's the home oh, stretch. Benny Hill. Yeah, Benny Hill. We need that little guy and you smack him around. You remember that one? <laughs> he and I know that one. Uh, Jackie. His name was Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. Exactly. Remember Benny Hill? Okay. Oh, These yeah. are youngins over here. Tom, I'm you remember not, that? Uh, hey, I remember I'm reruns. I'm not that young. Channel 13. I remember reruns. There's a young one over there. Yeah. I'm not that She's old. all, who's Benny Hill? Oh, my Who? <laughs> Benny, not Benny Hinn. Be- Benny Hinn. <laughs> Benny Hinn. <laughs> Benny yeah, Hinn. <laughs> two different people. <laughs> totally That's different. Yeah. Like, Wait a minute. I thought Benny Hill That would be the weirdest <laughs> mashup ever. <laughs> Benny Hinn, Benny Hill. That's guy people pass out. Girl, right? Girls nice. running away in, like, their underwear and the guy trying to heal them. Heal them. Exactly. Yeah, like this, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Suki, uh, any new blogs that we look, can look out for from you? Like, I saw a few things you had put up. Um, I've got a giveaway going on. Oh, yeah. What, what is it? It's for Pie Knot, if you guys have heard of it. Australian pies. Mm. Oh, I wanted to try it. I read all about it. Yes, and if you want to try it, you what, can win. What is a Pie Knot? Pie Knot is I have to savory. enter right? Wink? No. Yes, you have to enter <laughs> right. Wink. <laughs> Wink. Okay. So it's Australian pie. Oh, and the so, chef so, like actually a, hails a meat from, pie? It's a meat pie. Okay, savory okay. meat pie. It's Calm down. This, Calm you down. Can, it's about, you can, you can hold it in your hand. Hand pie. It's, meat yes, pies hand in your pie. hand. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know oh, I'm I got about. a Twinkie in my hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But it's good stuff. And they serve really great, <laughs> low acidic, acidity coffee. It's smooth. Mm. It's awesome. Wait, so where, where is... Pie Knot? It's in Costa Mesa. It's right Costa next Mesa. door to Sidecar Donuts. Yes. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna Perfect that. pairing of dessert I like how you guys are like, you know, acting as if I know where these places are. So. Me too. Well, Costa Mesa on 17th Street. Okay. I'm from South Bay. There you go. Yeah, there I, you go. Saw, I saw your post on it uh, about a week ago or something. That was Yeah, it, it, just post it. Me. You can go on my fan page, Eat Suki Eat, and there's a giveaway tab, and you can enter to win, and five people will be drawn. To Is it just... Get Friends and family is are not allowed. It's kind of like the whole thing. Like, oh no, anyone can. Oh. It's a random drawing. Go, go on your phone right now. Random drawing. Let's do it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Anything else that we can look out for for you? Are you gonna be in any events? Are you gonna be going there Sunday to? I will try my best. Sunday you know, where? What, what what's going on to Sunday? The, his his demo. Oh, okay. the demo. So that was fair. The <laughs> Enough demo. of that moonshine. Keep up. Enough uh, of that moonshine. Yeah, come on out. Check it out. Oh, yeah. To All be right. Fun. I was definitely tempted. I All right, Tom, it. you have three minutes left. And I think he did well. well I think he did, he did well. Is he, ta- yeah. is he tapping out? You tapping out, man? I'm not tapping out. Yeah, yeah, tapping out. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's all sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> all right. When we get back, we're going to talk to Brad, Matt, and Suki, and Tom, of course, and see how he recovers Let's after Let's see if he can finish break. it off after mm-hmm. the break. I know. During the break. Pepto Bismol time. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Don't go away, we'll be back for more Culinary Trends Adventures. Other talk stations use words like... (laughs) Sounds brutal. Hey, it's all good. Your super station. AM 1050, News Talk KCAA. Welcome to the Monster Marketing Group, your one-stop shop for all your marketing needs. Anything you need to make that marketing and advertising campaign stand out, we're your people. Concepts, design, production, social media, anything that you can dream up, we're going to make happen for you. And we can do it in a very quick turnaround. Please give us a call at 888-49-MONSTER. We are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rant Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m., Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in, because one has Tourette's, the you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen in. You never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> This is Anthony Sykes, your host for Sykes Accounting and Consulting Radio Show, where we help small businesses grow and give you tax tips. Catch us every Thursday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 
here on RantRadioNetwork.com. Thank you. Hey, bro, this is a good game. You know what would make it better? What, bro? A michelada. A michelada? What's a michelada? A michelada is somewhere in the middle of a Mexican Bloody Mary and a Mexican margarita. Oh, I got you covered, bro. You got a cup in your pocket? No, sir. I got my pocket-sized michelada. Mucho macho michelada. pocket size? pocket size. so you can take it with you anywhere you go. Where'd you get that at? At the nearest convenience store, and you can also buy it at muchomachomichelada.com. You know what will make it better? After we get drunk, if they had a line, we could call. We can call their drunk line. You can leave a message and then log on to the site and listen to your stupidity afterwards. What's that number? It's 855-MICHE69. What's that number again? 855-MICHE69. Awesome. Mucho macho michelada. Ticketsurgeon.com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. The Ticketsurgeon.com at 855-WIN-4199. What's up, my foodie freaks? Are you ready for some good food with good friends for good times? Well, head to the dinner table and have a seat because it's time for the Culinary Trend Show with me, Chef Bev Lazo, and my crazy brigade. Only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. <laughs> Sound effects. Woo, we are back. Woo! Tom, where are you? I'm a... Uh... <laughs> Just walking around getting some exercise. Oh, the you know what, stretching out, trick. stretching out. You got I'm one left. Look at, that, look at that, look at nice. that, yeah, yeah, look at that. Finish that off. Look at that. Can you beat Tom? If you can beat Tom, give us a call, 855-693-4897. We will put you on the show and see if you can finish a whole pizza pie yourself. I can do it. If you can beat Tom's record of 30, 30 minutes, um... <laughs> of eating pizza, <laughs> we will put you on air and you get to be on TV and let the whole world see you. All right, so we were talking about truck events, your event, and Suki's uh, um, blog pod contest. And contest. And podcast. And, and podcast. But let's talk yeah. about something I I saw this morning on Yahoo. It's about jet, j ugh, I can't say it. Black hot Man, dogs. I'm like been drinking this like crazy. Black hot dogs from Japan. It's the hottest new thing. Have you guys heard about that? No. No, okay. I was just asking about that at the break. I'm like, what is this oh, black yeah. hot dog? So we're going to put a video up, a quick video about it. Um, it's a new trend. It's Japan is a nation with a lot going for it. They have the longest average life expectancy in the world. They're on the forefront of technological advances. And they have very low crime rates. Still, with all that being said, it is a country that has some weird going on there like black hot dogs yes that's right you're looking at a black hot dog the popularity of vegas premium hot dogs in the akihabara district of tokyo japan has increased since they introduced the black terra hot dog to their menu it's one of the most discussed fast foods in the area and is the color of black charcoal throughout these hot dogs are roughly 30 centimeters in length, which means they're about the same length as a foot-long stack of foot-long hot dogs. YouTube video accounts of people eating the Black Terra hot dog report that it is a bit sweet and slightly bitter, but overall tastes like a regular frankfurter. Still, another reviewer gives his impression. The first bite was like kind of almost vomit-inducing because it was really sweeter than I was expecting. Mmm, I can't wait to try it. The curious cuisine may look like an overcooked kitchen mistake, but the wiener and bun are entirely edible and colored with bamboo charcoal powder, commonly used as a food dye in Asia. A report states that the bamboo charcoal powder doesn't alter the taste and that these hot dogs are good for your health. But I don't believe that. Sorry, it's a hot dog. Hot dogs aren't healthy to begin with. I doubt adding a dye suddenly makes it the next quinoa. But at 600 yen, or $6, the hot dog is an affordable meal for those that can get past the unique color. And now, commenters, have fun making all the inappropriate jokes that we weren't allowed to. Damn journalistic integrity always getting in my way. The Black Terra Hot Dog 
That just reminds so it's a big me bag, of Pleasantville, where everything is black and white. So it's a big black sausage for your mouth. <laughs> it yeah. is. Right. Is when you go anyway. Um. So <laughs> I can I can see the health shit. properties of it though. Yeah. Because if it's charcoal, it's taking the toxins out of your body. If you overdose in a hospital, well, they give you charcoal. It's true. Yeah. That's what they gave my two dogs. So, so, so the charcoal, <laughs> the charcoal is there to help you detox from the nitrates that you just ate. Yeah. It could be, yeah, yeah, if you have nitrates. Oh. So nitrites. it just it just offsets what you just ate. I know, yeah, so. like when I do caviar, I know it's caviar day, but we well. do creme fraiche on a charcoal cracker. Oh, interesting. Oh. And then you put the caviar with fresh dill on top of that charcoal cracker and you eat it and it gives you, it cleans your palate. I mean, nice. that charcoal flavor makes wow. everything pop. So maybe that's why it's so much sweeter or whatever. But a whole, I mean, it's what? How many? 30 centimeters long. I mean, wh- you're talking about Three a small hot what dog. What you said, sweet meat. Like, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. my. <laughs> 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 that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. If oh, you get, no. I have a feeling it might come out over here some sometime soon. And I know you food bloggers and you chefs and you f- food truck ambassadors will have to eventually try them, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm sure it's going to cost more if it ever comes out here. I think we should challenge you and make a have you make a black hot yeah. dog. Like I that. can make there that. I, I would actually do it a blood yes. sausage. Let's do with, that. Oh. With the charcoal. Oh, wait. Tom's oh, sausage, stripping back yeah. there. Tom's stripping. Stripping pig over there. Hey, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> How was it, man? It's, I'm insanely full right now. The uh, dough is expanding. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my and goodness. It's settling down, and the uh, pepperonis are greasy, and I'm in trouble. I'm going to give you a few minutes because uh, I know you say you had a wrap. I, I got a, a food wrap. All right, so give, we'll give you a few minutes to to. We can end the show that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's we're gonna recap of what's going on. All right, Mr. Ambassadors, tell everybody where you're gonna be, where we can find you, your websites, your events. Okay, website super gourmet food truck jam dot weebly dot com, and um, the South Bay Food Fest or Food Truck Festival is going to be August 10th at the uh, StubHub Center in Carson, California. Uh, price is ten dollars a person now and online, and then twelve dollars when you get to the gate. Free parking. Nice. Yeah, that's Woo. that's always good to have free parking. Over and there. Um, so we're gonna have about twenty-five of LA's best food trucks there. Um, grilled cheese, cousins lobster, flipping yolks gonna be there. Um, Raging Cajuns gonna be there. Miso hungry truck will be there. Awesome. Uh, the new um, the new truck, the French truck, the Bagnet truck. Beignet. Or beignet. 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 How are you I would it? say the exact that's same South thing. Bay. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. No, that's South Bay. We say the same thing. So they will also be there <laughs> along with mustache mics. Huh? N- nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they'll be there. So some really good trucks. A game truck's going to be there for all you gamers. What are the hours again? Uh, starts at 2 and goes till 8. And they can get your tickets online, right? Get tickets online. You go to our website, and uh, you can get it at StubHub uh, Center website. Were you talking about there. something about the LA Galaxy? You were telling me about something. Oh yeah, we're doing a uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I remember it. See, <laughs> um, this Saturday actually at the LA Galaxy game against uh, Vancouver Whitecaps, we're doing the uh, South Bay Food Truck Festival oh. promo night. Okay. And we're gonna have one truck there called Tropical Islands Papas and Dogs. I don't know okay. if you, you've heard yes. of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to be there with the game trucks going to be there too. And, uh, basically just, uh, going to be there to help promote the event. That's going to be on the 10th. They're going to be in the courtyard, right? Yes. I know that. Up okay. in the courtyard, the concourse area, whatever stuff. But if you like funnel cake, if you like bacon wrapped dogs, if you like, um, you know, we, we eat anything. Can't you tell? They got it all. <laughs> okay. We'll be there. We'll be there. So, it should be a so lot what of time would that, what, 7.30 is the game? Well, think? the game's at 7.30, okay. but we're going to be showing up probably around 3.30, 4 to get ready. Gates okay. open, I believe they said at 5. Okay. And so they're looking at, you know, big crowd as the Galaxy always have a big crowd. Okay, cool. So well, we'll be excited. You'll be back to talk about August 10th also. Yeah, and also, too, just real fast, we're uh-huh. doing the L.A. Blues. We sponsor the L.A. Blues soccer team. Oh, okay. In, Fo- in Fullerton. That's the Sunday, right? And the game's this Sunday. They actually have a girls game. Is at 12.30. They have that here? Yep. And um, I'll be there. And then in the afternoon, I think it's the men's games at uh, four o'clock. But we're uh, we're sponsoring uh, them for the last uh, games of the season, awesome. so we're happy to, to be a part of them. You're a busy guy. You're just everywhere. Trying to be. No, that's good though, right? Just keep busy. Awesome. Well, yep. where can we follow? Can we follow you on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram? Facebook is just Super Gourmet Food Truck Jam, and then um, 
Yeah, we're on Twitter, but you can see all that on um, on our web website as okay. well. I like everybody to go to the website. So there's a lot of good pictures on there, what we do, where we've been, what we're up to, and everything else, and all that information is on there. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. And Chef Matt, where can we find you well, this weekend? I'll be tomorrow at the Orange County Fair at 1 o'clock in the hangar building. I'll, I'll be, be under the table. A, okay. I'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing uh, a cooking demonstration with four different meals that I'll be cooking. Nice. And then I'll do the same thing on Sunday in the hangar building at 1 o'clock again. Okay. Then I'm out of state and traveling for a little bit, and then we'll come back into studio with my Fattorio de Vicario nice. pasta, and we'll do some pasta dishes here. You guys are welcome and back. And show it off to everyone. I'm awesome. I uh, love pasta. Yeah. So the pasta comes from my farm in Italy. Wow. Oh. It's wow. Uh, wow. D DOP certified and GMO free. Matt doesn't fool around, And we man. do spring. No. Yeah. spring this is like hardcore. We do a spring wheat, and we do oh. a, a winter wheat. So we have a hard wheat and then a soft wheat pasta that we do twice a year. Wow. We do egg pasta, saffron pastas, mm. you name it. And, and I, you're like I be said, you're going to be demoing them all. I, <laughs> I, yeah, well, I'll, I'll demo quite a few, but I, I, like I say to everyone, I'll put my dried pasta because we dry it out in the sun. We don't dry it in machines. I'll put it against anyone's fresh pasta, and I'll win nine times out of ten. Wow! Right there. I right. have like a true pasta. Oh, we, uh, my like, pasta yeah. is right now in Provisions Market, nice. and oh. it's also in Haven yes. restaurants. They're nice. using oh. it in their dishes. Oh, nice. Yay. So. Wow. I love Matt. Wow. Matt's going to be wow. feeding Done. us for life. <laughs> I love pasta, too. Well, thank you. Suki, oh, yeah. so what's our contest about again that we had? Did we enter? No. Oh, darn it. Okay. After, <laughs> after the show. All right. Yes, she's paying attention. Okay. All right, so what's Wait, your what's contest? going on? We're entering Suki's giveaway. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want that. Yeah. That's There's a, enter, yes. a giveaway oh. for Australian pies and bun coffee. And if you're listening, please go enter or else I will win. Yes. If you're listening, go and enter on my Facebook page. There's a giveaway tab. Eat Suki Eat on Facebook. So look it up. Enter. Check it out. And there's going to be five winners. So there's plenty of chances to win. You get a pie. And bun coffee. Nice. Very, nice. very. Gloria, get ready. We'll trade. I'll give you my coffee and then and you give me your And they have some ginger pie. beer there. Oh, nice. Oh, ginger beer. Did I just speak someone's word? Do they make the moonshine <laughs> coffee there? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they do not, but they or have you some. you could just like do a splash of oh, moonshine exactly. when they give you your they coffee. They have some excellent coffee. Like I I drink coffee and it's like one of my favorite places now to go drink coffee. Well, so, definitely. We'll you know, have to check it out then. Yeah. yeah. Savory think, Australian pies. I think Tom's ready to do his rap. Let's bring him All to right. the mic. Who wants to share the mic? I will. Come on over. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to do it in the pig costume. Oh, We're going to have to do it. He's done, man. We're going to have to turn this. <laughs> right. Let it be just in case we don't knock anything over. Okay. Sorry. Get on your knees, baby. Get on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Poor guy. Yes, Mistress Bev. Headphones. <laughs> <laughs> She'll give you the mic, but not the headphones. She's like, no. All right. You need a beatbox? All right. We have a setup ready. All right. Yo, oh. I'm thicker than the average swine Just chillin' my style, drinking prestige wine You know I love mashed potatoes and alligators I live the life of a pig, it's thin, don't win I eat rice, add nice, add spice, taste nice Serve ragu for my friends to consume With forks and spoons, and those are heirlooms And plates too, stuck in the life saver Of every different flavor, please do me a favor And use a turkey baster, and later Let's hit the food truck, I got all the pizza crust And some duck, <laughs> macaroni and cheese is stocked full of seeds, Thanks just for like you. Mashed potatoes and peas, show. easily Recently I've been craving Egg muffin, so I go down to Mickey D's with my peeps, feeling like Mayor Mike with cheese, extra grease snacking, sharing my donut, asking who wanted that cow from next door. She sold it. <laughs> Sells me of lettuce, shiny and green, burgers and fried and sweet and iced tea. I love my food, I can't explain. I like the way that cheese goes well with champagne. Whoa! Whoa! Good job! Oh, good oh, give it up, Woo! give it up, give it up! Thank you, Tom. Thank you, everybody. Matt, Brad, I really, I really Suki. don't know how to react to that. Really <laughs> and thank you nice. to my brigade. We will return next week. We will have Chef Matt won't be here, but we are going to do adobo. <laughs> if you like Filipino adobo, you guys are welcome back because I'm going to be cooking. Does anybody want some pizza? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. Bring some on. <laughs> heard the pig wants some there pizza. We <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Have a great Bye. weekend. And I just love your flashy ways. I guess it's why they're broken. You're so. Hey, bro, this is a good game. You know what would make it better? What, bro? A michelada. A michelada? What's a michelada? A michelada is somewhere in the middle of a Mexican Bloody Mary and a Mexican margarita. Oh, I got you covered, bro. You got a cup in your pocket?